In this Python tutorial, we will make a desktop application with a table element using Persimple GUI. When we click on a row in the table, row and column information is shown to us. In the video I will show step by step how to do the application. To support us, do not forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel and like the video. So let's start. First, I will transfer the PY Simple GUI library. You can transfer the library using this code. I import the library. I am creating an object list. I create a variable for the window. I send title, layout, size, and resizable values to the window function. I create an infinite while loop with true. I will create two variables named event and values. I synchronize the variables with the read function. Using these variables, I determine the operations to be performed in the application. For example, when the X button is pressed, the event variable becomes equal to when closed. If the X button is pressed, I will end the while loop with the break command. Finally, I close the window. I created an empty window. I determine the types of texts to be used in the window with set options. I am creating a list for the columns of the table. I add no, name, age and marks values. I am creating a list for the data I will add to the table. I add four data sets to the list. I am creating variable to create table. I send values, headings and justification values to the table function. I synchronize values and headings with the lists I create. I save the variable I created for the table in the layout list. I added the table to the desktop window. We can change the color of the selected row. I set it as yellow and green. The selected row turns into yellow and green colors. I will soon show the information of the selected row in a pop-up object. I set enable events to true. I set the expand x and y values to true. Thus, the table object is positioned to fill the window. When the window is clicked, I want it to be displayed on the console screen with an event value. Finally, I set the enable event value to true and set a key. As you can see, when you click on the row, the event value is shown below. I copy the click value. If the click value is present in the event value, 
I will show this information in the pop-up object. I am sending a text to the pop-up function. With the format, I specify what should happen to the variables. Let's test it. When I click on any row, column and row information is shown in the pop-up object. In this video, we learned how to use the table element. To support us, do not forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel and like the video.